In not necessarily this order, here are my top six spots I like to find sheds. Evergreens and conifers give thermal cover and protection for winter with their thick needle branches blocking the wind and snow. Whether it's single cedars, patches of pines, or clusters of hemlocks, the thick canopy helps filter out the snow and keeps the snow in the understory shallow. These areas provide shelter, bedding, and their branches provide browse. Self-facing hillsides get more sun in a 24-hour period than any other part of a landscape and deer love to lie in the sun just like we do. This makes these slopes a top spot for bucks to find warmth during these cold months and since they spend so much time in these spots, it makes them a prime location for finding sheds. Trails are great places to find sheds. A lot of times a buck will take the path of least resistance in those cold months post season and a low hanging branch or pinch point can easily pop off an antler. Between bedding and feeding, there will be trails, so jump on one and walk it. Fields and food sources are great spots to look for sheds. Winter is rough on bucks and they are run down from the rut and eat cattle to beef back up to fight off the cold. They spend over a month fighting and chasing doe while paying little attention to feeding. Find the right food sources and you'll find the deer, and where there's deer, there's antlers. When a buck is on a trail and gets to a fence or stream, he may jump across it. This sudden movement can jar his antlers loose and pop them right off. Deer also might stop for a drink in the stream. They bend down, drink, jerk their heads up if they hear any noises. This makes these areas prime shed hunting spots. While there are no guarantees in shed hunting, these spots are definitely worth your time. Just like us, bucks spend a significant amount of their life sleeping. There's a great chance a buck's antlers may fall off while he's asleep, so this is an excellent place to look. Not only do bucks like traveling and spending their time in areas of thick cover, but it's a likely place for a branch or brush to pop an antler off. It's a lot harder to see them in these spots, but it could be worth your weight in brown gold if you put in the time and the effort.